Hey y'all, it's Carly here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing the Aztec clay mask on hair and skin. This is my first time. I've been seeing a lot of good reviews on this clay mask, so I was like, I need to try this. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you know when I'm dropping these new videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my hair is freshly washed and I have my apple cider vinegar as well as the clay mask. I got this from Target for like $8. So if you was having some trouble like me, go to Target, they should have it. And I have my plastic container and my plastic silverware. It's important that you use plastic because if you have any metal or anything like that, it messes with the reaction of the clay mask. So it won't be as effective. So I'm excited because, I don't know, lately I've just been into, well, I've always been into hair, but I've been really into like doing things that I need to do on my hair. Like, why am I just now using this clay mask? Why? Why did I just do an apple cider vinegar rinse? And first of all, why am I just now knowing that apple cider vinegar rinse is perfect for natural anything? But anyway, we're gonna do like a self-care type of addition today. I will be putting on my face and I will be putting on my hair. So why not just do both? So yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna try to put as much as I need for both face and hair. So, shoot. <laughs> all right, all right, maybe a little more. Okay, that's enough. And next, I'm gonna pour the apple cider vinegar. I want like a clay consistency. I don't want it to be watery, so I'm gonna see how this comes together. Definitely need some more. So it's not a perfect number or anything like that or measurement. So you just go off of what you see and what you like. This is what it's coming out to be. It's a pretty good consistency. This is how I like it. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be enough for my face and skin, but if it's not, then I'll just make some more. So I'm about to start, but before I start, I just wanna say a few things. This is a detox clay, so it's not something that you wanna do every week. I would recommend that you do it once a month or once every three months. When I say that it dries out like your impurities and stuff in your hair, it basically is good for like buildup if you have protein overload, anything of that nature, you feel like your hair is just not acting right, this is good to just give it a fresh start and everything. And a good thing about this product is it does not strip your hair of any moisture whatsoever. If anything, it opens your cuticle so that your hair can easily distribute product at the end. Once you rinse this out, your hair will be more clumped together, your curls gonna be more defined, and it also minimizes frizz. So who wouldn't want to try this clay mask? Why haven't I already tried it? Anyway, so let's get into it. I'm excited. <laughs> Cause I'm ready to see how this gonna look on my hair. Or you know my hair is probably gonna love this. Let's look on my earring. All right, I'm getting kind of hot. I'm gonna take this towel off. It's really clay-like, so I hope it don't. So, let me mix this up again. It's really clay-like, oh my God, look. Okay. So. Gonna make sure I get every strand. I don't know, I think I might be able to put everything on my hair and have some left over for my face because I'm not using as much as I thought I was. Cause it's like really thick y'all. See? Okay, so one thing I will say is it clumps up real fast. Like seriously. some of my ends make sure you try to get every strand y'all we're not doing this for nothing get it now 
Okay. This is how it's looking. It's hard now, but the results is what we want, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of water just so I can feel like I'm distributing it more. Cause it did clump up really fast, so. Put some more in my roots. We gonna keep it pushing. So what I want to say is this clay mask helps with any kind of dandruff. If you're suffering with that, this is good for that as well. I'm really excited to see how this is going to come on my face because, I mean, my face ain't too, too bad, but the forehead area and like the chin area, it's just doing its own thing right now. And I can't really do too much about it, but try to take care of it. But you know, your face do what it want to do. So, hopefully this clay mask help with that too. So yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this around my whole head. And then I'm going to show y'all how it looks when every strand is covered. So this is how we're looking and now we're going to do my face. especially then yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna use this clay mask faithfully look I don't even gotta worry about getting my hair Okay, I'm gonna do some 
cup area. Make sure everything is covered. All right, so this is how we're looking now. We're done. And I'm gonna let this sit in for 20 minutes. I'm going to um, condition and deep condition my hair, but I'm gonna come back on here and do my face for you guys. Okay, so this is 10 minutes in and y'all, let me tell y'all this face mask, like I'm feeling it. I feel like it's like, you know how, <sighs> okay, it's getting hard, but it's like really hard. Like I could barely move my lips for real. Like I do clay masks and this is different. Let me just say that. I took it off my face. I know that I said I was gonna come back with it on my face, but it was just too much with trying to take it off my hair and then making sure that I didn't touch the face part, but it was gonna touch it regardless. So as far as the clay mask on the face, I definitely recommend it. At first, don't get discouraged because of how it feels because it gets tight around here especially, but just keep it on. And if you have sensitive skin, keep it on for 15 minutes so you won't get no irritation but i think that this is actually gonna do good on my face just because of how it's making my face feel right now um i have like a couple pimples and stuff like that dark spots so i'm happy to see what this is going to do for me so um i'm going to finish conditioning or deep conditioning and then i'm going to come back so we can talk about this hair so guys this is how it's looking after it's been conditioned it's very soft. I noticed that right when I was rinsing it out and stuff like that, it's kind of hard. But once you like get the deep conditioning going, and after it's gonna look fine, it's gonna feel soft and all of that. I definitely recommend this mask. I'm excited. I'm glad I did it. It's like dripping all on me, but um, I'm so glad I did it. I love the results. One thing I do recommend is at the beginning, try to detangle your hair because it makes it better to work through. That's one thing I wish I would have done, but this is how it's looking. I'm loving it. And that wraps up this video. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.